everyone. So yesterday we um, read a couple of books and we were deciding if the book was fiction or nonfiction. And so you can do that when you are reading. You can look through the book and read through it and you can decide if it's fiction or nonfiction. And so yesterday we read Bear Feels Sick and we decided that it was fiction because it had characters that talked um, it had a problem and it had a solution. So we knew that that was a story, a fiction story. Um, we read a little bit of our book Facts and we decided that it was telling us true information. It was giving us facts. It was teaching us something. So we knew that that was nonfiction. Okay, so today we're going to go through two new books and we're going to decide if it is fiction or non-fiction. Um, so our first book that we're going to read today is called Hooray for Veterinarians. Animal Doctors. Veterinarians are animal doctors. They are also called vets. Vets help animals stay healthy. Vets care for animals. These doctors check animals with tools. Vets know how animal bodies work. Animals cannot say what hurts. Vets test animals. They find out what is wrong with animals. Some vets treat big animals. This horse hurt its leg, the vet will fix it. Some vets work with small animals. People bring their pets to the vet. This vet gives a rabbit a shot. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but so far with what we've read, what do you think? Do you think it's fiction or nonfiction? This is teaching us about vets, right? And it's telling us all sorts of things. They can work with big animals. They can work with small animals. Sometimes they have to give the animals their shots, just like we get, right? Um, so this is teaching us true information. This is giving us facts. So we're going to say that this is nonfiction. All right. I have um, another book, and this one is called Sassafras. And again, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll read the first couple pages. And I want you to be thinking fiction or nonfiction. So it starts like this. It says, Sassafras hid in the hollow of a big oak tree. I hope nobody finds me, sighed the sad little skunk. I hope no one is looking. There you are, Sassafras, squealed Porcupine. He poked his spiny head into the log and blinked in the darkness. What you doing in there? Hiding, said the skunk. Gray squirrel ran across the top of the log. Well, come on out, he called. Let's go run in the leaves. You don't want to play with me, said Sassafras, slipping further into the hollow tree. I might, you know make a bit of a stink. Too true, too true, sniffed Screech Owl. She sat high above the others, always on the lookout for danger. That little skunk can make an awful big smell. We don't mind, do we, Gray Squirrel? said Porcupine. We just want him to play. But the shy little skunk just lowered his head and said nothing. When Porcupine and Gray Squirrel left, Sassafras climbed out of the log and walked to the edge of Willow Pond. There in the still, glassy water, he gazed down at his sad reflection. It's hard being a skunk, he told Bullfrog. If I had wings like a bird, I could fly away every time someone teased me or called me a smelly old, stinky old, funky old skunk. Hello, Sassafras, called a clear, strong voice from behind.
of rats turned around. Hello, Poppy. You smell like root beer. The wise old skunk chuckled. That's not me, said Poppy. I'm chewing sassafras root. Sassafras root is sweet, like you. Oh, I'm not sweet, said Sassafras with a blush. Sassafras is just my name. So I'm not going to keep reading, but I want you to think. Hmm, is this a fiction or a non-fiction book? It has characters, right? There's animals in this story, but it's not telling us facts about the animals. The animals are talking, right? So we know that they're characters. And Sassafras, one of the characters, is having a problem, right? And I'm guessing that by the end of the story, his problem gets solved. So if you said fiction, you got it. This is a fiction book, okay? So remember, when you're reading, you can think about whether a book is fiction or nonfiction. So I want you to do that again today. I want you to choose a book to read and think about if it's fiction or nonfiction and how do you know. Happy reading!